great balls of fire, support local, and some sad stories. My name is Bomber Webb. And I am Christopher Olsen. <laughs> and you've been listening. No, you're about to <laughs> listen to. I do it every time. every time. You're about to listen to This Week in Sedgefield. Such is life. (laughs) We're in the first week of September. We are indeed. And it is wet and it's rainy. We've had some (laughs) warmth, but we've had lots of other stuff going on. The the Wednesday market opened. And closed. Yeah, shame. I I mean, there was all the eagerness. Everybody wanted to be there, Mm. but it was miserable weather. Yeah, Yeah. it's kind of how it goes. And that's the thing with the market. Yeah. You know, I mean, even with the Saturday one, um, very much so. Well, especially the wild oats. But yeah, Yeah. just where there's not that much cover. It's just kind of how it goes, huh? Yeah. But built into it. Bit difficult. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it was nice to see with the really great weather on this past Saturday with that kind of heat wave, that that, that bird winds and all of that just going so well. Yeah. There was the, we were speaking about it just before now about the the new frozen yogurt over there. Okay. Yes. And that was cool. We'll speak a bit about, a bit about all the the businesses and all the things. Um, And and we, we really want to, this episode especially, just, advocate for support local yes yeah absolutely absolutely definitely. and you're, you're wearing your stoned oxygen i am beanie. i am yeah <laughs> local um, brand yeah very proud of them i've i've probably bought the pants that i'm wearing from one of our secondhand stores <laughs> yes yes yeah i see I, I see you fixed the stab mark in the left leg yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> i still gotta get to the right one but i mean we'll, <laughs> that's fine you'll we'll see how it goes hey different. how's the melodrama going how are the melodramas going well? Mm. Um, well, uh, I think ticket sales haven't been as good mm. as previous years. Yeah, um, but generally, that's the nature packed. of the, yeah nature of the beast. I think um, well o- o- of the year. Yeah, people are struggling a bit more this year. Mm, mm. Um, so yeah, that that's one of those things. Um, but it has really been good. Mm. We are on our penultimate night mm. second last night tonight yes. yes and then which is thursday sorry yeah. in case you get this on friday mm. and then friday night mm. is the last performance the ultimate friday night's the, the ultimate <laughs> yes yes it's uh, it's always a big one it's yeah. sold out practically mm. within so quickly, an yeah. hour mm-hmm. everybody loves the last night it's it's yeah the car the cars kind of uh, mm. freewheel a bit yes. and, and have a bit of even extra fun. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, uh, but yeah, great. no, it's it's been going well. The audiences have been amazing. They've oh, been cool. very, very appreciative. It makes such a big difference. It does. You've got an it? audience really who's really on board. Yes, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So I think I saw on the front page of the the, the new age. That's, that's yes. out. Yeah, it's the great, one that was out this week, Wednesday. Great edition. Yeah. You can see that you guys, yeah. No, you did a good one. I oh, thank really, you. really enjoyed it. Thank you. Um, so far, I haven't read everything yet. Um, so if there's something bad in there, then I'll just let you know. <laughs> okay. T- thank terrible. you. Anyway. Thank you. Um, but yeah, you showed on there that last year they managed to fundraise something like 180,000 Rand. Did I yes. read that right? Yeah, I uh, it, it, it is. It's a phenomenal amount of money they give to local charities. Oh. Um, and yeah, let's let's uh, let's hope it, it equals those amounts this year. Mm. Last year was, I'm just looking at the paper now, 185,750 Rond Yo. went to local charities. This must buy ya. Yeah, and I mean that's not the that's not all the money that's raised, but the, yeah. obviously there are costs for things. Oh, okay. So the costs are on top of that. Oh, um, you know the cost of yeah. Of, of yeah, uh, maybe buying costumes here and mm, there. Mm, they mm. do run it very much on a shoestring. Yes, yes. Um, no, I mean, well, the there idea. are other costumes as well. Yeah, yeah. but the, not just the, shoestrings. The shoestrings are <laughs> very important one. <laughs> now they do. I mean, people bring their own costumes wherever possible, but there mm. are. Some things that yeah you just don't have in your cupboard. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not going to say what because <laughs> I don't want to ruin it. Yes, but um, yes. yeah, yeah, uh. that's it. But yeah, uh, it really has uh, mm. done well last year and all the years up to now, and and will do well this year. Yeah, they they just haven't had quite as many mm. uh, sales on the tickets as Mm-mm. far as I know. It's going to happen. We're in that kind of economy. Um, yeah, no, we well, are. Huh? Having said that, on f- last Friday, which which was also full. Oh, um, we had Jeez. the American auction after the after the show. They, you know, they mm? people vote to see which numbers are encored. Oh yes, and yes. it was over seventeen thousand rand what? made in the one night. Oh, just 17, on the encore, over seventeen thousand on ETV. <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> that's impressive, but, man. That's, hey, yeah, geez, lots good of money. Job on that. Lots of very, money. Very and, and it's all for local charity. Mm-hmm. That's the, so we're going to go back the, into the community. Yes, and that makes a very, very big difference. Like we, we it get does, to, th- that's the best when you get to see the effects. Um, yeah, directly, and we're gonna we're gonna speak about uh, a bit about that. But one of the interesting things that happened, I think it was this past week, was it the fireball? It was a oh, fireball. Yes, I knew nothing fireball. of this. Oh, did you not know? Nothing. This, okay. this was the first I heard about it was in the paper. Oh wow. Okay, so the fireball was it was heard um, in Sedgefield. Heard of fireball. Th- those who weren't sleeping quite as soundly, mm-hmm. or those who ah. might have actually been awake. Yeah. On the um, 25th of August, yeah, uh, t- 2024. Okay, it was okay. about, I think it said half past eight. Um, oh, is that the time? 8.50, sorry. Okay. 10 to 9. So yeah. it happened. Um, and it, it basically might, made a loud bang, which was heard in Sedgefield. I heard it. Okay. Uh, but it wasn't so loud that you thought, oh, my hat, the world's coming to an end. Yes. It yes. was kind of a, oh. I wonder if someone's driven into a tree or, or what? yeah, something like that. Yeah. Um, but it happened off the coast of Jeffreys Bay. And we heard well, it. Well, I suppose yeah. it was off the coast of, of all coastlines. South Africa, really. It was off the <laughs> yeah, coastlines. <laughs> it, yeah. it was actually heard, um, they said, uh, it was seen by a number of people over a wide expanse of the Cape and Southern Free State. And it was Sorry, heard by State. many more. What? As it created a sonic boom. Whoa. It created a sonic boom. Sonic boom? Who would have known? Yeah, that that's that's that amazing. A meteorite would know how to create a sonic boom. Okay, I so it was a meteorite. A do, we, do we know what it is? Uh, yes, they think it was a meteorite yeah. e- uh, entering the Earth's atmosphere. Well, mm. it would have Yeah, been, that's what a meteorite. It, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. Or yeah. aliens landing. Uh, probably, know, yeah. Uh, something like that. No, no, there we go. You know, Come to the get the aliens seals have back. been trying to land for, for many, and, and they keep burning up. On, oh. on entry, yeah. Some of them, some Should of them have landed and, and yeah. You know, they, have they got parachutes the yet? Route. No, no, apparently not. Should apparently learn not. from our hang gliders. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, yes. Um, so, basically, yeah. the, the story about the meteorite is that the Astronomical Society of South Africa. Mm, astronomical. Yes, astronomical, like the price of cigarettes. <laughs> um, they are looking for camera footage. Mm. Oh, yeah. Some people have cameras on their businesses, okay. or so, like the security ones, yes, and security dash cameras and, yeah. and what have you, and body cams. And they've managed to get a few, yeah, that have footage of this, but they want to oh, get yeah. as much as possible yeah, yeah. footage of the meteor. There was one um, shared on Facebook. They they actually okay. had the 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 meteorite. Yes. Um, yeah, not a close-up thing. It was no, no. kind of a bit of a flame in the sky. Yes, um, I mean, that, that'll basically be it. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, but they just want to—they just want to find out more about it. So, oh, cool. um, I, I won't give you the email address now because it's—it's well, you won't remember it. Yeah. Will you? yeah. Um, so yeah, so no, we they, can check it on the. Yeah, please. we can check it on the edge. And, and, got, and that, that photo that's in there is that. That's the actual that, that's thing. That's the actual one. I mean, yeah, that's, that's yeah. a pretty good one. Isn't it? Whoever yeah. got that yeah. one, that's well done. Uh, I don't Do know, know who provided that. Um, no. Well, they sent it to us. The yes. Astronomical Society. Oh, it's from them. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. fantastic, they, they, man. That's really they cool. They sent it. And, yeah, and they've kind of put a map in as well with all with little mm. flags as to where it was seen and, and where it was, uh, yeah. Oh, I'd love to see those videos. I'm also going to keep yeah. a, an eye out for yeah, those. Yeah, have a look. Yeah. yeah, if you find any, will you send me the link? And then we can also put it in the description. That's um, a good that'll, idea. That'll be great yeah. to see. Yeah, sure. Yeah, very, very, very interesting. interesting. Wish I'd heard it. Yeah. I don't know what I was doing on 25th of August. Yeah. Does yeah. anyone? Clearly, you weren't. Uh, oh. your, your ears were closed. Yeah, I was. Yeah. Tra- yeah. I was that's trying it. hang gliding. Oh, in the, in the right. upper upper <laughs> atmosphere. Oh, that was. Didn't see any other things. It was quite loud up there. You know, I made some. Wait, maybe. Oh. Okay, let's let's shift gears now a little bit because. There are a few more serious stories uh, yeah. that have come up, um, and we we've had this. I mean, we had last week um, as well some some great big tragedies. Sure, uh, but there's there's one very uh, interesting. I don't know if that's the the right word really, um, but the there was there's a missing man. Yes, that was yeah. yeah, spotted possibly potentially. We don't know for sure. Spotted nearby. Yes, yeah, he was. Um we, we got a we got a message on Monday night. Uh, last edition, or it might have been, uh, yes, last edition, we did run a a general story of this missing man. He had mm. been to Louvain, which is near George. Okay, I don't, um, I don't know, he'd yeah. been to a concert, and mm. 
he had gone missing and, and people were looking for him. Yeah, but you see, um, like he's he left his, the, the festival finished, yeah. his tent was there with his phone. and Well, and yeah, that, that's what, ca- that this, this week on, on Monday night, we got um, a message from his family, mm. his brothers and sister. Yeah. So his sister has come over from Israel and his two brothers from Australia. Whoa. They've come, because they've lost contact with yeah. him and they kind of, contacting local newspapers and saying mm. please yeah, yeah and they've it. sent a, a, a much more detailed picture mm, mm. and can tell us a bit more about it and they, they gave us the details he had been at Levain uh, at the concert at Levain mm-hmm. they have an annual uh, festival okay music festival there yeah and he had been there two or three times before so uh, the owner of the 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 venue mm. recognized him mm. and so he was able to tell the brothers and sisters well he, I saw him on... on yeah, he was here. He was here. Yeah. And then they found, when the concert ended, mm-hmm. they found his tent still set up, Ooh. his phone and his belongings um, in the tent, yeah. but no sign of him. And they've searched the area. Sure. Yeah, the police and the dogs have been out looking around yes. Louvain because it's it's a sort of a farm, one of these open okay. air venues. Yeah, they've searched and searched and um, nothing. So, Ooh. and then they've recently had a, they call it a credible sighting. Okay. Of him walking down the Buffalo Bay Road. Oh. So uh, that's they quite say a the description. Yes, yeah. Sure. But I mean, George to Buffalo Bay, he, uh, maybe he caught a lift. Okay. It could be someone, so. yeah, maybe mm. someone said, hey, we're going to we're gonna have a party in Buffalo Bay. Yeah, come, come with along. us. Oh. And we'll drop you off later or something. And oh, then they I hope it's just I don't, something like that. Who knows what the story is? Yeah. I really hope it was him. They are so desperate. Imagine yeah. being in a foreign country, oh, yeah. uh, w- one with the reputation of South Africa. Mm, exactly, yeah. And, and you can't find your sibling. Oh, you yeah. Know, that's that's horror so story yeah, stuff, it's, it's really sad. His name is um, Schroeder, Bob Robert Schroeder, or Robert Bob Schroeder. Schroeder. Um, yeah, he's he's fifty eight, I think. Weighs mm. eighty weighs eighty kgs. Mm-hmm. Um, has glasses and false upper teeth. I don't know. Oh wow, if that's that's, uh, that's and very he's, detailed. He's quite wild and woolly. He's got okay. he's bald on top, but he's yeah. got big hair out the sides okay. and a big beard. Yeah, and we've got um, a nice. I mean, there's a great quality uh, photo. Yes, um, yeah, 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 right so, there by Ted's head. I mm. really hope they. I really mm. hope they find him. No, yeah, very much in a big way. Hey, and then but, also mm, missing. Yes, oh, but uh, I, I, I don't want to say more tragically, but yeah, there's the two. There's two also swimmers yeah. that went yeah. into the water at Vic Bay. Mm-hmm. They were part of a big group, um, age 20 and 17. Oh. And they went in on, on Saturday, 31st of August. That's last mm-hmm. Saturday. And they didn't come out. Oh and my the, the, the NSRI swimmers have been in there. Mm. The boats have been there. You know, they, they reacted as they do very, they very do, yeah. quickly. I mean, they, they're outstanding. Just couldn't. Couldn't find them, couldn't find um, them, and the search continues. Sadly, um, it's it's more of a recovery search now. Mm, after a certain amount of time, yeah, right? I'm yeah. sure. And I Ooh. did hear, um, I put it on the Edge Facebook thing. They did find what they believe to be the body of the 17 year old. Oh, really? Um, either last night or this morning, the message Whoa. came out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, oh, man. So sorry to the families. Mm. Um, yeah. No, horrible, that's just horrible. it. So many condolences, prayers. Yeah. Of, no, we're that's sorry. It. That's, uh, that's, it. Yeah. that's awful. That, and that's then just we've truly, got, truly awful. Yeah. And then we've got the other story, which we did speak about last Thursday. That's mm. more detail in the newspaper about the family whose child was, was murdered. Was murdered, you know, yeah. The two-year-old, two-year-old old child. Mm. And yeah, they had a vigil on Friday. Um, people walked mm. the streets because it's shocked the whole community. It oh, my really goodness. Has. That will. Yeah. Yeah. So they they had a, a sort of a the pastors of, of Smutsville and what have you led a vigil in, mm. on the streets, um, yeah they they prayed and and mm. just to pull the community together, walking in a bit of solidarity. That's it. Yeah, they're so tired. There's been there's been um, a couple of uh, murders, mm. uh, yeah, other other murders and, and yeah. fights and what have you. That's it's just hammered the community and yeah. they they. Yeah, they just need, um, need needed, change. Needed to pull together. They yeah. need change. We need a a bigger presence of police. Police, that's it. Yeah. Um, 
I don't want to use the word fear, but I think it's appropriate. More mm. fear of the police, or maybe more mm. fear of a jail sentence. Yes. And that's what seems to be, because we have so few policemen and women on the ground in Smutsville, mm. um, there's no fear of being caught. There was, yeah. there was that awful story of, uh, I think it was, I might be mixing a few stories here, a, a lady who was walking on the beach and was attacked, and then her attacker was taken to jail, and then he was out kind of shortly after that. Yes. Do you remember? Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm talking about? Yeah, that was a while back. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and that, that's, that's the sort the of thing. stuff that just rings yeah. in people's like, ears. Why, you, why are they out? What, yeah. Where is the system failing? Oh, um, yeah. And yeah. it is. And that, that's it is, thing. yeah. Oh. Look, luckily, the, this, the man that uh, perpetrated this horrible crime has been mm. arrested. Mm. Yes. Um, I spoke to his, his aunt on mm -hmm. Friday. Oh, okay. Um, and she... Shame, she's obviously devastated. Um, basically, her sister, his other aunt, yeah. who he stays with, mm. was the child minder, the day carer. Oh, for this, this two-year-old. And, and obviously, oh. he, I don't know how, what, we don't know the circumstances. Yeah. They, the family, ha he's been driving them crazy for the last, uh, since he moved here from Muscle Bay last mm -hmm. year. Um, he burnt the one the aunt I spoke to. He oh. burnt her house down. Oh, uh, and that's what he lived sure. with her. He burnt her house down, and she kind oh. of reported him. Yeah, he went to the police. Must have been he was terrified arrested. being yes, uh, yeah. With, oh, yeah. And there's no ways they could see, foresee what was no. going to happen. Yeah. And even even if they thought that he was not right, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? You can't force someone who's mm. 20 years old to go to hospital. There's nobody that you can phone to say, pick up our child. He's, mm -hmm. he, they, she also said he was in court last month. I think she said last month on uh, because he had stabbed someone in a in a fight in in a bar. Oh, uh, and that that um, that court case was postponed indefinitely. She said really? uh, because yeah. um, because they lost the docket. Uh, oh, that's no. what she said. That's what she says. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, that's uh, yeah. I, I, I did. I, I, uh, I did ask the police mm. for confirmation of that information, and I haven't. I haven't heard, heard anything. But they but did confirm so that the the man has recently, as mm -hmm. in last week, the same day he 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 did um, perform that horrible crime. Crime. Yeah. He was arrested. Mm -hmm. um, he actually chose not to apply for bail. Okay. Um, and I can understand the community is just baying Yo, for Oh, him. my goodness. And, yeah, and no. he's not a local. He's a, he's a Muscle Bay Muscle guy. Bay, so yeah. it, you know, they just Compounded. don't want him back. Mm. And, and they will probably... Send a strong message. Send a strong message, yeah, yeah. Um, if, if he was to be released. Oh, boy. So, yeah, he's in custody. His court case is later this month. Okay. Or, or might, it might even be um, early October. Okay. But... What they normally do in these situations is they arrest the person. They see if they are sane enough, because mm -hmm. I think he is a bit. I think he is a bit of a nutter. Mm. They, if they can face trial, then they go through trial. If they can't, they go to a, a home, mm. uh, an institution. Falkenberg, an institution, okay. yeah. Falkenberg, that, and by, then by Cape Town, by Cape Town, mm -hmm. yeah. And then when they are deemed sane enough to face trial mm -hmm. then the trial happens then so it's okay. not like they let them so out like of they step out arrested immediately uh, yeah. then you go to trial that's it yeah. whoa yeah. sure so yeah those those were tragic stories that mm. I, I don't like putting them in the newspaper but we have to keep but we people do informed. we've got to, got to be realistic we've got yeah. to be aware of what's happening all around us um, so that we can that's help it. so we can be part of the community yes. pulling together yeah. one organization yeah. that does this uh very very well uh, is Masi Tandani. Yes, Masi Tandani. Um, they do. They really are uh, a great bunch of, mm. of. Well, it's it's a great organization. It really yeah. is just su yeah, such a blessing to so many people, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it we've is. got a bit of, bit of a bit of a history. Yes, for them. yeah. So uh, the background is um, recently they had a a function in uh, a celebration in Sedgefield called mm -hmm. uh, Women of Valor. Oh, cool. uh, it's because it's Women's Month. Women's Month, yes. August, so they had yeah. a, a Women of Valor thing. So I, I think it was 10 or 12 ladies uh, gave their stories at this function. Oh, ladies oh of, that's encouraging. Ladies of sort yeah. of achievement mm -hmm. and you know, anything from really running a, 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 
a successful business in mm-hmm. the Sedgefield community. Oh, cool. To so all from Sedge? All from Sedgefield. Oh, cool. Um, and, and one of the, the speakers was Celia Kossar, who mm. was the original, uh, her and her husband originally set up mm. Grace Fellowship, which then became Masseton oh, Dining. Oh, the building is still Celia. called Grace Fellowship. But oh, okay. um, yeah. So she was one. So what we thought, because it was pretty much um, a women's event. Mm-hmm. So we thought, well, let's share their stories. Yeah. Um, so what, what we're going to do is put them in the paper one by one. Oh, uh, nice. every, every edition or every second edition. Oh. We'll, we'll tell the story because they each made idea. a speech. Yes. So yeah. So this week is, is Celia. Is uh, Celia. The history of face. Uh, Face, <laughs> Grace Fellowship. Face, the Grace history of her face. <laughs> yes. A detailed history of my face. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, that's that. Yeah. And and, cool. and how Masseton Dani grew from mm. Grace, Grace <laughs> Fellowship. Oh, my Grace, goodness. Grace Fellowship. Yes. Oh, lovely. Yeah, I haven't read it yet. So I'm looking forward okay. to reading it. And that's also going to be awesome to, to get those together. Yes, and yeah. And hear those How's all together take? one after another. Yeah. Love that. So, um, as we mentioned, we've uh, sort of... We're advocating here for supporting local. And I don't know how many people would not, but just looking at how we can really be intentional uh, with supporting local. Uh, like there's a new art gallery um, that, that's yes. opened up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Opened, it opened, I think, last Friday mm. at, um, or maybe it was Saturday. Friday, Saturday, not sure. Mm. At um, Oyster's Edge. That's the oh, restaurant. Okay. Yeah. Um just down from Placid Waters on mm. the left-hand side of Swallow Drive. Yeah. Um, Gary and Renee Atkinson, they've always mm. been great community supporters. Nice. He he was, I don't know if he still is, but was very involved in com- COP, Community Orientated okay. Policing. Yeah, the, yeah. Yes. And they've, the the, the building orig- where, that they're in was originally mm. built by Joyce Hampson's father, I think. A, a, a Sedgefielder from way, 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 way back. Yeah, he has a plaque on the library, I think. That, oh, nice! Because I, I, I think he okay, I'll that keep as an well. eye for that. Yeah. Either that, or they were saying, yeah, yeah. Frank, bring your books back. Yeah. <laughs> Very <laughs> overdue. <laughs> yes. So he, it's a trap. It's yeah. <laughs> so they've opened their doors as a gallery as well oh, nice. for the Sedgefield Art Society. Oh, I like that. The Sedge Art Sock. Mm. Yes. So is it part of the, the kind of main restaurant building? Like, I, I, just, I think so. They've got a beautiful deck there. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's wonderful. Kind of stunning. Mm. Yeah. Stunning view. So, yeah, they, they've they um, they've opened there. Uh, the, the, the art gallery named after... Um, um, uh, the Hampson family. Okay. Um, and yeah, they, it's it's lovely. Sedgefield Art Society's art is mm, in there. Mm. So you can go sit on the deck, look at the view, I'm have in. a drink, have something to eat, or just go look at the paintings yeah. or do all of the above. A combination yeah. of them. It's oh, really that's cool. cool. Love really that cool. idea. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the Art Society also donated a whole lot of paintings to the melodrama. Oh, to, nice. to, to, to auction. To, uh, to auction, yeah. Oh, so that's very, also very cool. cool. Yeah. We've got some yeah, phenomenal artists in the Haven't area. Hey, it's just yeah. definitely one of the distinctives, yes. isn't yes. it? Yes, yeah, yeah. And, and I am not one of them. Are oh, you not? Okay. No, not yeah. no good at all. You're an observer, though. I'm an observer, I yes, mean, what, yes. what is art without an observer? <laughs> yes. <laughs> We all have I, our I parts know, to play. I know. I'm pretty sure that I would be an, a brilliant oil painting <laughs> artist. An oil painting artist? Yes, but I'm just yeah. not going to try because I don't want to prove myself wrong. Uh, so okay. I shall can carry on in mm-hmm. my brain being a brilliant oil painting artist. Okay. And, and yeah, why, uh, why should I try? I tried yeah. to paint in oil once. Oh, did um, you? But it was just, I mean, it, it, it looked as black as when it started. Oh, did it? Yeah. yeah. And you made Obviously. a right old mess of the garage floor. Yeah. Oh, I called yeah, it the shadow, funny. but no one quite <laughs> yes. got it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So I've, I've, I hear tell of one great benefit of buying local. And this is, yeah. um, I mean, just because it's me today, but I'm buying some honey from Amberfield Apiaries. Oh, okay. Um, some local honey. Because you told me that if, if you do, if you buy local and, and you get kind of local honey, then it, it helps with allergies. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, it's it's local flora, fauna and flora. No, just flora. Just, just the flora. None of that. Yeah, no, we're we're not the eating fauna. the bees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Local <Maybe>. flowers. <laughs> Um, right because the the logical science behind it, and I'm no mm. scientist, is that if the bees 
uh, use the local pollen. Mm -hmm. And it's the local pollen that gives you the hay fever because yeah. it's not going to be imported pollen from somewhere. Yeah. Um, that's <laughs> your, your honey helps with your, mm. your allergies, your yeah. local allergies. So that makes sense. Mm. And the bees hardly ever sneeze. Yes, yeah, I've they're... never seen a bee sneeze. Science. I've seen yeah. a bee's knees, but never a bee <laughs> sneeze. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Yeah. Hey, but um, we've got a, a few more details about on the uh, Sunday, the 22nd of September, the, the skateboarding something. You've got a, a, a much yes, better name for it. Yes, it's called a street skate jam. Oh, I'm in. Yeah, I'm in how's that, Immediately eh? in. It's Sunday of 22nd of um, September. September yeah. So that's like soon, two weeks. Yeah. 11 a.m. And it's on the main service road. So mm. um, it's it's where... Um, Kahuna's. Kahuna's N2 is... N2 Centre. The N2 Centre, yeah. yeah. So Stoned Oxygen, Kahuna. Mm. Um, there's a few businesses along there. Um, and they basically are going to close off the street for kind of a street carnival mm. come skatey thing. Ooh, and yeah, cool. it's going to be good fun. There's lots of prizes. Uh, they, they're they saying it's a fun day for the whole family. All ages welcome mm. for the competition. Lots of competitions. Uh, best trick of the day. I think these are all on the skateboard, though. Ooh. Don't bring your magic stuff. It's oh. not that sort what of thing. What if you brought the magic stuff and you did it on the skateboard? Oh, that would be good. Guaranteed yeah. win. Yeah, that would be cool. That would be cool. <laughs> Um, freestyle skating, that's of course swimming with your skateboard. Mm, mm, there you go, yeah. Um, uh, see how? Slow town, slow roll. Mm -hmm. mm. Also, it would be nice if you had a skateboard. Uh, yes, for that. yeah, I yeah, think yeah. skateboard or, mm -hmm. or a, a roll of sorts. Yeah. Ham, something like that. <laughs> Ham roll. And then the <laughs> when you bring your. Um, your book selling the longest manual. Uh, yeah, I don't know what, what's that? a manual is when you balance on like your back or front two wheels, so you're only oh. on two wheels at a time without the tail or the the kind of nose scraping. Oh, that, that when that, I that when manual. I slam on brakes in the car, sometimes <laughs> that happens. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So that's 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 what that, a longest manual is. Oh, okay. That's, cool. that's it's cool not beans. that it does it automatically. And, yeah. And, and, okay. No, no, not yeah. not that one. Okay, okay, so yeah. that, that's really cool. I'm, I'm excited for very, that. Very, very cool. It's going to yeah. be very, very cool. Love that. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, supporting local, mm. uh, man, it's it's just something we've got to do. And you mentioned a word earlier that you've got Ape to theory. be. <laughs> now, that's where they keep apes. Man. Oh, fair enough. That yeah. you've got to be something about supporting local. What do, what was the word you used? Avid? Passionate? Uh, no, capricious. none of those. No. <laughs> anyway, you've got to... You've got to intentional. Act, intentional was the intentional. word. Intentional. Um, basically, you, it's it's worth thinking about. Mm. For example, uh, one example I, 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 that always springs to mind for me is you need some printing done. You go <laughs> no, to the no, edge. No, <laughs> no, not that. If you if you're thinking, okay, um, I'm going to go to George to do something, mm. uh, oh, and when I get there, I'll. Uh, I may as well fill up my car. I've got enough ah. to get to George. Mm -hmm. um, and then I can fill it up there. Mm -mm. Fill it up in Sedgefield. Yeah. Why? Because the guys that work at the garage mm. send their kids to uh, either Smutsville or Sedgefield Primary That's right. School. Yeah. They, they pay fees. Mm -hmm. Fees keep the school going. Mm. Uh, fees pay for the teachers. That's right. Uh, yeah. The teachers... Well, the, the school going keeps the teachers mm, there. Yeah. The teachers spend money in the local shops. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a whole every bit of money helps. Yeah. And, and if you if you're worried about a a shop not having enough stock, mm. for example, yes. the more people that buy there, the mm. more stock they can have. Yeah. And, and what we it found makes is the that, economy better. So no, it does. Yeah. yeah. And what we found is that uh, for things like we weren't able to find certain light bulbs for like okay. a lava lamp. Yeah, oh wow the, okay but, yes but we've um i can't remember which i think it was build it or it was the, the lighting uh warehouse that that, that, yes. that shop i can't remember the name yeah. but it's you go in and then you say do you have it no and then you can ask um yeah. if they can order in yes and I, i'm pretty sure a lot of people will will say yes if, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll make a plan they'll make we'll a plan we want to help in. you and this is going to help yes. us it's, no it's and, very cool. and it'll save you the cost of the trip to george mm -hmm. and, no and you see there's another thing what, yeah, uh, what a few people think of is is um, okay, I'm going to Georgia. I'm going to Nisner. While I'm there, I will mm. make it worth my while. So yeah. while I'm there, I'll do all my grocery shopping and I'll buy uh. the kids stationery and I'll do this and do that. Mm. Don't do it while you're there. Do it while you're here in Sedgefield. Yeah. 
Because it's 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 uh, it's supporting local business. Mm, mm. You it's know, every go every way. fifty rand you spend here, he's going to spend it at the next shop. The mm-hmm. next shop's going to spend it at the next shop, and it it goes round. Yeah. It really does go round. Mm-hmm. So yeah, intentional is the right word. Mm. Really try. The businesses are battling. Mm. Uh, give this, them, this give time them of year, bit, I find yes. this interesting. Someone was saying yeah. that yeah, in this kind of gap between August, uh, September, around about here, yes, is yeah. when historically there are more businesses that are kind of closing down. Yeah, that's that's what happens. Uh, yeah, there is a bit of a pickup in September mm-hmm. uh, when the school holidays are on. Okay, but that's like end of yeah, September. Uh, but the, you're right. There's months. The October, November, mm. oof, uh, August was also bad. It, it's just hard for people to make ends meet. And every yeah. now and then we hear, oh, another business is closed. Mm. Another business. It's always sad. And, and Those look, are people's stories. Those are our neighbor's stories. And, and there's always, yeah, because people are queuing up to mm. open businesses here. Yeah. And there's always, oh, great. Well, someone else has replaced them. Mm. But mm. Oh, then again, we end up with, with, with another business closing yeah. if we don't get the support. So, mm. yeah, mm. it's it just an appeal to be intentionally uh, supporter of local businesses. Yes, and yeah. looking for ways to to speak about other businesses as well with yes. other people. You know, you yeah. hear about a new shop or you visit a yeah. shop, like, tell me about it. Yeah. You know, I will yeah. tell my wife. She's very chatty. You know, yeah. you may not be able to <laughs> yeah. chat to me always. Um, but One thing that often comes up um, mm. is people saying, um, and I can say this online, uh, yeah. uh, because we don't have agencies, uh, vehicle agencies in Sedgeville. Oh, uh, yeah? The amount of people that have said, wow, They've taken their car for a service at the services, uh, the, the agents. Yes. And and it's cost them an absolute oh, fortune. Yeah. They've then changed to a local mechanic, and mm-hmm. there's quite a few in Sedgefield. Yeah. And found, A, the mm. service was brilliant. Yeah. I've also heard that. Yeah. B, the price was so mm. much less. Yeah significant it just it it just makes sense and and you want to also have that relationship mm. where if your car breaks down halfway down swallow street you want to have that guy on your mm. phone that you can phone and say hey dude yeah man my car's broken down can you help a guy out Mm-mm. that's right uh, yeah. and they do they do they do they yeah. don't say okay well the call out fee will mm. be x amount and Ooh, da, 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 da. like hop on the yeah. scooter and then and yeah find yeah you. i mean you can you can't blame the agencies for sending a yeah charging a call out fee from driving from all the George, way from yeah. George yeah, yeah. but if you've got a local guy yeah, yeah there we go no so there we go yeah awesome I love that I, I feel motivated to, to support local excellent nice. excellent well done that's what I like to hear cool so um, that's it for, for this week I'll oh see we done you, already uh, yeah okay. I'll see you at band practice oh, oh yeah I band. mean, I mean oh, did you say that why oh, oh goodness man, what could we possibly uh, yes. mean about that <laughs> You'll have to wait in here. Okay, well, thanks everyone. Hope you have a great week. Yep, I hope you do too. Thanks.